The local Chinese community is on standby ready to provide support as the virus, as for coronavirus cases pop up in the Midlands. After the outbreak in Wuhan, local groups joined forces to provide relief abroad in the form of supplies. News 19's Alicia Niaves has the story. At the end of January, a month deep into the coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan, China, local groups decided to take action. The community got together. We thought we need to do something. Five different Chinese groups and organizations in Colombia joined forces to start the Coronavirus Relief Fund. I know once the uh, fund started, there will be a lot of helping hand, but uh, I didn't expect that to happen so fast. Within weeks, after sharing their efforts by email, on social media, and by word of mouth, they raised about $17,000. But they didn't send the cash. They instead used the money to buy what was needed immediately. This is one of a century things. It's almost impossible to prepare something like that. Dr. Zhang with the That's Chinese Christian deep. Church of Columbia once thing. worked for the CDC in China. We sent masks and uh, Isolation guns, they like that at the beginning in the hospitals. A lot of hospitals, they don't have any adequate equipment to deal with severe patients. Since the outbreak, support is also pouring in for Chinese students at USC. Helping them to uh, do some grocery shopping and then uh, talk to them. Lin Wang works then, to bring uh, more international students to the university. He's also vice president of the Chinese yeah, Association yeah. of Columbia. Some students their family is in uh, Wuhan, where the uh, whole thing started. Some of them worry about the uh, courses here in USA. I still have one student in China, so I keep constant communication with her. Since fundraising stopped, these organizations are continuing to share information about the virus online, encouraging everyone to stay informed. Not to be panicked, but be prepared. Our focus is going to be in U.S. now. If anyone need help, our community is ready to help. Alicia Niaves, News 19, WLTX. And both men have family members in China. They were informed that now many schools are getting back in session and the country is slowly returning back to normal.